Hello and welcome to this episode of You Ask, We Answer. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is near and dear to every motorhome owner's heart, how to have safer and happier driving in your RV. Whether you're driving on a windy mountain road or cruising down the highway, the handling and steering of your motorhome can make all the difference between a fun and comfortable ride or a stressful and exhausting experience. But don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we're going to give you the best tips and tricks for improving the steering and handling of your motorhome so you can enjoy your travels to the fullest. So let's get started. Tip number one is pay attention to your tires. This is the first and most important thing you can do to make sure you're traveling safety and it can also help you travel more comfortably. This means checking your tire pressure regularly and also making sure that your tire's age is not excessive. Typically seven years is about as old as you want to go. You also want to make sure you have enough tread on your tires, although typically motorhomes are going to run out of age in the tires long before you run out of tread. Proper tire inflation and adequate tread depth can also help to improve traction and handling, especially when you're driving in wet conditions. Also, make sure your motorhome's wheels are aligned and balanced. Regular wheel alignment can help to ensure that your RV tracks straight and handles well, uh, while balancing the wheels can minimize vibrations and improve handling. Tip two, have your coach weighed ideally on all four corners. First, this will tell you what pressure you need to run in your tires for the weight that you're carrying. Also, it can help diagnose uh, steering issues. If your coach tends to want to wander, that can indicate a weight distribution problem. We want to see at least a one to two ratio of front axle versus rear axle weight. For example, if you have 8,000 pounds on your front axle, we'd want to see no more than 16,000 pounds on your rear axle. Tip three, if you're looking for a better ride, consider upgrading your suspension components. Adding a new set of shocks, or in some cases springs, can help improve your RV handling and ride comfort, especially for larger motorhomes with a higher center of gravity. Adding aftermarket suspension parts like an anti-sway bar is a great way to improve stability and reduce body roll. These bars work by connecting the right and left sides of the suspension, reducing the amount of sway and helping to keep your RV stable on the road. You can also consider installing a rear track bar if it's available for your coach. A rear track bar works by reducing the amount of movement between the frame and the axle. It allows the axle to move up and down, but not side to side. And this helps to keep your RV more stable on the road and can make a big difference in how your motorhome handles, especially when driving on winding roads or in windy conditions or when getting uh, passed by semi trucks. Final thing uh, I would recommend is looking at a steering stabilizer. These help to maintain your steering pointed straight down the road and can also provide better return to center and also provide some safety benefits in uh, reducing the amount of uh, jerking in the steering wheel in the event of a front tire blowout. Tip four, finally, practice good driving habits. Maintaining a steady speed, avoiding sudden braking or acceleration, and driving in a relaxed manner can help to improve handling and reduce wear and tear on your motorhome. I have to remind myself of this at times not to overwork the steering wheel. Gotta remember that this vehicle is going to drive differently than your car. Sometimes if you fight it too much, you can actually wear yourself out unnecessarily. Well, there you have it, folks. A few great tips for having a better experience on your next RV adventure. If you got value from this, please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. As always, until we see you in another video or on the road, we wish you safer and happier driving. Maintaining a steady speed, avoidance setting, avoidance setting. Can SE uh, be kept in your office, Barb? Okay, that can indicate a tire pre or a bleh, 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 bleh. Um, maintain good driving habits. Uh, practice good driving habits. Yes, I love it. Okay. <laughs>